By his mid-30s, a high school choir teacher in Dearborn had lost his zest for life. He was often tired, he had gained weight, and then came the diagnosis. But Matt Laura was not giving up without a fight. He made one decision that truly changed his life. Sandra Ali has his inspiring story. February, as you may know, is American Heart Month, a good time to raise awareness about heart disease and how we can prevent it. That's exactly why the teacher you're about to meet decided this is a perfect time to share his story. Kind of stretch. Uh -huh. It's a cold, rainy day on Belle Isle, but the weather isn't keeping Matt Laura from his daily run. It's now part of his routine and has been almost every day for the last two years. But that wasn't always the case. This is Matt back in 2013. The 46 year old father from Jackson suffered from congestive heart failure. And something just wasn't right. So I drove myself to the hospital. I don't remember driving to the hospital, but my car was there, so I knew I got there. And I was in congestive heart failure with pneumonia. I was born with uh, a prolapsed mitral valve and I didn't know anything about it for most of my life. Matt had open heart surgery, then had to rely on a lot of medication to regulate his high cholesterol and blood pressure. Matt admits he was overweight and in bad shape. As I got into my mid-30s, I started to get tired, have um, not a lot of energy, not a lot of motivation, started to gain a lot of weight. And one day it just, I was sitting in my office and I didn't know where I was or how to get from one part of the school to another. Two years ago, Matt decided he needed to make a change. That's when the choir teacher at Fortson High School in Dearborn started running. I've never been a runner ever. We had this running joke, uh, my students and I, that if you see me running, like, get behind me because there's a pack of wild dogs or something like, uh -huh. something really bad is happening. Yeah. My first run was 200 feet, and I knew because my driveway was 200 feet long, and I wanted to die. <laughs> at the end of it, it was awful. And I thought, who would do this to themselves? And um, about three days later, I thought, boy, I bet I could get to a mile eventually. And that took about three weeks to get up to running a mile. Um, and then, I, I don't know, I kind of liked it. It felt good. I got to the end and I felt good like I had done something for myself. Um, and so I just started adding and adding. <laughs> and adding some more. His first race, a 5K. So many lessons I've learned from running. I, silly things like running up a hill. You get to the top of the hill, eventually there's gonna be a downside. There's going to be a time where you get to relax and enjoy the work that you've done. After finishing 14 5Ks, Matt moved on to 10Ks, then started training harder and running longer. Because you have those hours in your head to just think about what's right and what's wrong with what you're doing. And that, that's, that's really important. Then he tackled two half marathons, including the Detroit Free Press Chemical Bank Marathon last October. Looking down a long trail that you can't see the end of now is something that's beautiful. Like here's an opportunity as opposed to something you have to do. So it just has changed everything. Now, Matt is 50 pounds lighter and off all of his heart medicine. He hardly recognizes himself when he looks back at these old photos. You can see it uh, in my eyes. I just look tired, just um, sort of along for the ride a lot of times. His message now? And that first step is so hard. And there are days where it just isn't there. It's not every run is perfect and um, it, you just, but that first step and the first time you get to some kind of accomplishment. Next up, a full marathon. Matt has his sights set on crossing the finish line at the Detroit Free Press Chemical Bank Marathon coming up in October. We changed so many people's lives, including Matt. I mean, look at what Matt has accomplished and going to accomplish. I want that 26.2 sticker for my car. And, um, and I, I don't know what happens when I get there, maybe that's good enough. If you don't have something ahead of you that seems impossible, then you're never gonna grow. You're never gonna get somewhere else. And Matt says once he finishes the marathon, maybe he'll start working towards an ultra marathon next. He says there's no stopping him. Back to you. Boy, there is no stopping him. An ultra marathon, who knew? Good for you, ma'am. Yeah, absolutely.